on the spot. On, boys, fish on. First fish for the, for the summer. Let's see what it is. <laughs> wow, I just started in first row, guys. First row, I think it's a small little cop. Here it comes. Small little cobby. Small little cobby, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh. Here you go. So glue guys. Small little cobby, let's give it some freedom. Wow. Freedom. There he goes. Crazy. Anywho, welcome back to my channel, Crazy Air for Fishing SA. My name is Juan. I've showed you guys that rig on the video. I will put the link in the description again, and guys, uh, the video that a previous video that I posted, I'm showing you guys how to do the cob rig. Hopefully, it will help you guys. And uh, I've actually posted that video this morning. I came out with the exact same rig, guys. And I've got a first row, I've got a cobby. Crazy. Where is the bigger cob? Wow, it's low tide, guys. Absolutely low. Low, low, low. Okay, guys. First row, that one little cobby. I'm gonna change spots now. Could there only be that one small little cobby on that spot? <laughs> they gave it some freedom. But now I'm definitely gonna change spots. It's low tide guys. Man. Low, low, low. How low can you go? Absolutely beautiful here. Yeah? Because that uh, first <laughs> first cobby of the season guys absolutely beautiful but uh, we gave it some freedom let's change spots let's see what happens it's crazy that small little cob I told you guys gonna get gonna be back on the reefs the wind is pumping a bit but not that crazy <laughs> Man, I love fishing. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful. Always something new. I'll see you guys in just a bit. A lot of guys do sinkers here, guys. Look at this. Ah. So I've got a sinker. Let's see what happens, guys new little spot okay guys I'm gonna change spots again no fish at that second spot only that small cobby the first spot I just threw in and I caught it but hey we gave it some freedom picked up a scissor and uh, one small little weight 
let's just let's see if we can find a new spot Whew. a lot of walking a lot of walking guys Okay guys, Whew. I'm tired now, I'm getting old, <laughs> but still, still do have love, of the, love for the game, the sport of catching the fish you guys, knowing what to do is absolutely crazy, I hope you guys find that uh, previous video helpful guys, that is exactly the rig that I'm using. And I actually learned from the best and that's Mario so yeah hopefully you guys do the rig catch a couple of cob but uh, yeah like I said you know the circle hook helps a lot if you come here with a smaller hook you're just gonna destroy the fish's mouth or the stomach if the fish swallows the hook it's a small cobby you got a nice big circle look in the cob the cob's mouth is big guys he's got a big mouth and then you just hook it nicely on the lip like you saw like you guys saw just now that cobby that I caught now was small but I just hooked it on the lip I, I wouldn't have lost it and you get a bigger cob then that hook is gonna work absolutely perfect that hook is gonna work perfect guys so that's a nice thing, nice thing of a circle look. The cob would not easily swallow it. So if it's a small cobby you can actually you can still release the cob. Which is beautiful. And if it's a sizer, you won't lose it. Then you can have some nice fish tonight. Size needs to be 50 guys, 50 centimeters. Woo! What a beautiful day What a beautiful day Okay guys We are not finished We're gonna go To a new spot now And if you guys like the video Please press a like Thanks for supporting the channel guys Hit that notification bell So you guys get notified of upcoming videos This summer we're gonna catch a lot of cop subscribe subscribe you guys supporting the channel thanks a lot Woo. this is on a dot it's 11 o'clock low tide so it's 11 now see there's a couple of guys on the reefs let me see if I can find my spot catch a couple of couple of cob Maybe there's a sizer guys, maybe there's a sizer. Woo! -hoo. I've got a pee pee on. I think I'll just let it go. Nice and warm. Oh yeah! Oh. Oh. Salt water at the ocean and salt water in my pants. These boots are made for walking These boots are made for walking And that's just what I'll do One of these be <laughs> One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over the reefs <sighs> oh, I need a bit of water There's the spot need to find a spot a lot of walking guys but I do love it it looks a bit deep here <laughs> See if we can get the sizer guys 
<laughs> Almost fell down now. Thank you guys for all the support. All of you guys that supported me. So I think it's almost... We've got the channel for almost two years now, guys. And you guys who started following me, who are still following me, and check out all the adventures, and all the fishing, and all the tips and everything. <sighs> I need to find my spot now. <laughs> I'll see you guys in just a bit. Baby guys, just a baby. Beautiful fish. Just hooked in the lip. Beautiful. There she goes. Baby. Woo. Woo. Here it comes, here it comes. Just took that chocker. <laughs> you guys can see hooked it nicely in the lip beautiful definitely not 50 centimeters not 50 guys but what a beautiful fish wow not 50 centimeters guys let's give him some freedom Wow, what a beautiful cop. There he goes. Freedom.
maybe. Only small copies, guys. Maybe. What a beautiful fish. You guys can see it's nicely hooked on the lip, guys. Wow, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look nicely in the mouth, guys. The circle look. I told you guys I'm gonna come out and catch some cobs this summer. Not legal sizes yet. What a beautiful cobby. Okay guys, only small little cobbies, uh, 40, only small little cobbies, 49, uh, 47, 49, I caught a couple, but uh, it's too small guys, so it needs to be 50 to keep, I'm gonna give this guy also freedom, uh, let the babies go and let them grow guys.
Okay guys, I don't know what to say. Look at the scope. Look at the scope guys. It is a monster. Wow. This thing fought like hell. Oh my goodness. I'm stuck here. <laughs> With everything. Oh. Oh my goodness. Whoa. This thing fought. Look at this cob. I told you guys gonna find the edible. Okay. Everything is that thing pulled me like a shark. And then all of a sudden those head shakes guys. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this monster! Whoa! Whoa! This is a monster! Look at this! This is beautiful! Whoa, look at this cop guys! Woo! Uh, I need to get out of here. Oh. Oh, I had a swim now and I battled. Whoa. It was such a big fight. It was a crazy fight and it got stuck. I swam in a fight and I got it. I need to get out of here now. Look at his mouth. This is a one big fish. Whoa. You guys can see. Nicely hooked on the with a circle hook. So as you guys can see. I got stuck and almost drowned because it pulled me in and I almost lost my rod and uh, it has been a struggle and finally when I got loose from the reef and all the line and stuff I managed to pull out the cob <laughs> he gave a fight, he gave a fight Guys can see I'm tangled here. I went in deep. When the cop pulls, I thought it was a shark. No it takes all of a sudden it takes. And it pulled me in with this little 9000. And these reefs are pretty crazy guys. I'm gonna tell you guys I've swallowed swallowed some water. I almost almost thought I'm not gonna make it. But eventually when I got the cob out, it was stuck as well. But I got it out gave a great fight biggest cop so far that I've ever caught guys I don't know how big it is small baby we release let them go let them go but this is a monster guys it gave me a fight I will tell you guys that much or oh, the first time I've ever caught a big cop like this but I, like I told you guys I almost drowned on the reefs here the ocean isn't your playmate and I lost my rod when I fell down, managed to pick my rod up and I feel that they're still, the cob is still on. Or well, whatever it is, it's still on. And then all of a sudden I saw that big head and it just went down and it got stuck. But I managed to get it out guys with the struggle and everything. So I'm going to keep this, uh, I'm going to keep this guy. <coughs> Hope you guys understand.
I'm trying to keep, untangle myself here because I am full of braid and leader line and everything it is just crazy these cops fight guys I can tell you that much they, they, these cops fight man I need to get out of here now to get everything sorted here yeah. because everything is cooked I don't know how much this thing weighs or measures but it is a big fish it is a big fish Look at this top guy. This is against my feet. This is a monster. A monster cop guys. Whew. This is my first big cop. This big guys. It was a fight guys. I untangled it with the braid, it was turned upside down. <coughs> but it's a big cop, a big cop. Beautiful. Woo! Guys. Look at this fish, it is massive, it is absolutely a monster guys, whoa, absolutely beautiful, guys this was a fight of a lifetime with that little 9000 guys, absolutely beautiful, it gave a great fight, man it's just absolutely insane look at that mouth wow he gave a great fight guys my first first ever big cob absolutely beautiful Jolin 9000 guys worked absolutely wonders and that rig that i showed you guys wow absolutely beautiful guys my first time catching a big cob like this is absolutely crazy you guys can agree i've worked for this fish um but uh I've been out a couple of times on the reefs, you guys saw this video now with the little cobs and stuff, uh, little, little cobs, but we always release the cobs, the small little babies guys. Guys, what a beautiful fish, man, <laughs> I hope you guys are happy, happy about this, happy, happy for me as I'm for this, um, I hope you guys are happy, happy for me guys, I've been working for almost two years to catch a nice little cob like this. And I can't even say a little cop anymore, it's a, it's, a, it's a decent size guys, a decent sizer. Absolutely beautiful, wow. And it's all with that... Uh, <clears throat> I caught this fish with that uh, rig that I showed you guys. Uh, that cop rig guys, I'll put it in the link in the description below. It didn't lose the fish, I caught the small babies as well with, the, with that uh, circle look guys. And I caught this big one with that circle look, you, you will not lose your fish. You guys know normally we measure it this thing moved down now we measure the fish against our rods so i caught uh, this cob guys this beautiful cob i'll give you measurements now i don't know how much um i don't know the measurements now i don't have a measuring tape normally we measure it against our rods until this little tape here is 50 centimeters guys so and here's the rig let me show you guys the rig 
exactly that circle loop that I showed you guys that I use little floaty leader line and uh, my sinker line guys sliding sinker I'll show you guys <laughs> it is beautiful What a beautiful cop, guys. What a beautiful specimen. This guy fights. This guy fights. And at first, at first, guys, it pulled me down, and I thought, oh man, here comes the shark. You guys saw that, uh, that uh, a, a reel of mine, it just went. And I thought it's gonna break me off on the reefs. But that leader line obviously works wonders, guys. Most definitely works well. And uh, I didn't break I didn't break off. What happened was I slipped and I fell into the water. And if the current is a bit strong, then you lose sense of everything and to find the rock that you were standing on, a reef you were standing on, and then everything just gets crazy. And I felt oh uh, I'm stuck and all of a sudden it pulled again and I felt that the egg shakes and I knew this is a cob. And I saw the head came out and then it was a struggle from there guys. This is absolutely beautiful. We are definitely not going to waste this fish. I've worked for this fish. I do, you guys, if you do release all those babies, I release, always release the babies. And that's what probably, this is what probably what I get for releasing those small little babies, guys. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cob. Wow, man, I'm so stoked. I don't know if you guys could hear me on the reefs. Uh, it, was, it was crazy. Underwater, and then on top of the reefs, then underwater, and it was just a fight. It mess up my hand pretty well. That's why we should wear the gloves, guys. These guys can see there. Mess up my hand pretty well. Here as well. That's why I always wear the gloves. Gloves comes in needy for a cob like this. Wow, <laughs> I'm so stoked, guys. Please like, please uh, hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. And please subscribe, guys. I'm gonna do a lot of fishing. But definitely if I do catch a sizer like this, I would, I would just hope to not, you know, struggle with it like this. Uh, uh, like I struggle with it, with, it, with this cob. And then I can just give it uh, freedom as well. Uh, if I say a nice edible, it's about 60, you know, 50 or 60 centimeters. This thing is definitely, most definitely bigger than that. I'm going to do measurements now. I don't have my measuring tape. That's why I say we're always measuring it against our rods. But... Uh, I'm soaked guys, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay guys, we've got a measuring tape here. It's an uncle that <laughs> saw me struggle. He's gonna measure it for us. One oh five. One oh five. One oh five. Absolutely crazy guys. This guy gave a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Almost drowned. <laughs> Yeah. See you guys in the next video guys. Cheers.